Hello my hiking friends, it is nice to see you here and today, well, today in the evening I will leave the second biggest island in Estonia, Hiuma, but before that I will share with you what I saw and what I did in this island. So right now I have been on the island for three days and my goal for the trip was just to hang around, relax, try to paint a little bit and just see what Hiuma has to offer me. I came with a car because it is autumn time and I wasn't sure about the weather and uh, it is more easier to hang around on the island with a car or with a bike rather than only by foot. You can come to the island only with a ferry and I love ferry rides. They are like this half meditative journey to the island, though so I love ferry rides. If I could I would travel with ferries all the time. Hiuma is known for its nature of course and for its beaches because it is surrounded with sea and I saw a lot of beautiful beaches and different beaches I might say. raining this kind of misty rain so it was a perfect time to try out my new rain jacket meet the new item in my gear family <laughs> it's the Patagonia Torrential and I bought it with the support of uh, you guys who have supported me via PayPal so thank you very much all of the mornings that I have had here are really surreal and kind of mystical. Do you want to climb up there? Right now I am here. Yesterday I spent my time on this peninsula. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Especially this road here. Gorgeous. And this is where I spent my first night. Right next to the sea and this is a perfect place for sunrise, watching sunrise. Hioma is perfect for bike touring because, can you see it? You can circle the whole island with paved roads. They are not highways, they are all beautiful forest ways, forest roads. And as you can see you have a lot of campsites here, 
here, especially here. You, you notice there is nothing in the middle of the Hiuma because there is a big bog area or marsh area here. So people are living on the edges of the highland as well. This lighthouse here is the Kupu lighthouse and it is a true symbol of Hiuma to everybody, to the local people and to the tourists as well. And you know what? It's the third oldest lighthouse that is still working in the whole world. So, quite amazing. It was built in 1500 something years and um, at first it was built with these big stones and it was all filled up, the, all the lighthouse was filled up, there weren't any staircases inside of the lighthouse. When the men who kept the fire going on top of the lighthouse wanted to go up, they climbed the ladder that was on the outside of the lighthouse. And it's really funny, I have come to see this high lighthouse many many times and still when I see it close up it's like this massive, massive building and it makes me feel so small and young. <laughs> the hiking trails are more like these educational trails here where there are information boards along the trail where you can read about the nature and animals and they're really short ones like one kilometer maybe a little bit less or more but uh, the trails that I walked here, the educational trails were beautiful. So if you come here, even if they are really small trails, do them. One great thing that I discovered about Hiuma, that it is that it is filled with these old military bases that are open to public and they are in okay condition. So you can really visit those. Uh, bunkers and uh, buildings that are underground, covered with uh, moss and forests and trees. But you can visit those, like really go into the bunkers and see how the military base l sort of look like from the inside. The islands of the West Estonia were in the Soviet Union times the, the total border of the Soviet Union across the sea was Sweden and Finland so Estonia, the coastline of Estonia really was the border of the Soviet Union so the army really protected the border and the sea line and uh, for the local people the sea line was closed for decades because it was border area nobody could ac access them so now everybody can access, access them and even visit uh, military bases and they, they are really fascinating just to see what, what kind of things people can build. Okay guys, I have my flashlight. I will do it for you. I'm scared as hell but I bet you want to know what's in here. The sign says that please don't take anything from here because it is like under protection of Estonian law as a remembrance, as a historical site. That's the biggest room. Like, okay, that's it. That's it. That's the limit for me. <laughs> Yes! Escape! Let's escape! Whew. This is the cutest church ever. It was built in 1925 and restored in 2000 something. And oh my god, it's totally from wood! And the small graveyard that surrounds it with a beautiful little fence. It's so cute!
Yeah, so thank you for hanging out with me on this uh, gorgeous island. If you like these kinds of videos, then tell me in the comments below or just hit the like button so I know you like them. If you have watched my video until this far, subscribe if you, if you haven't already because most likely you will enjoy the other videos I am doing as well about Estonia and hiking and water coloring. Go for a hike because life is so much better in hiking shoes <laughs> and I will see you already next time. Bye! This is me waiting for the ferry departure which will be really soon but Look, I almost finished a painting, a new painting. That's the ferry. This is me.